the omens weren't great for Dragons ahead of this game. They'd only recorded one win away from home in the Pro 12 in the last year, that at Glasgow in November, and the last time they'd won in the league on Irish soil was back in 2008. By contrast, Leinster went into the match having won their last seven against Dragons, with just one defeat in their last eight games in total, and with several Irish squad players back in the side and a team showing seven changes from that which beat Zebra in Italy. It took a while for the game to get going. The first score didn't arrive until the 14th minute, Ian Madigan firing between the posts to put Leinster into a 3-0 lead. The last time Leinster played at home to Dragons, they clocked up 45 points, but this was proving to be a sterner test Indeed, it was the Welsh side who scored next in the 28th minute. Classic drop goal opportunity. And Toby was accurate with his kick to lead at three points apiece. Shortly after that, the visitors were reduced to 14 men for the rest of the half when Nathan Buck was yellow carded for coming into a maul from the side. And in that period before the break, Leinster grabbed hold of the game and made their numerical supremacy pay off in the 38th minute. Jack McGrath picked the ball and bulldozed his way through the Dragons defenders and over the line for the first try of the night. A score that was all about the big Dubliners' power and determination to get over the line. It was his third try of the season and one that would see Leinster go in ahead at half-time. Madigan added the conversion the Irish side had a 10-3 lead at the break. Dragons have never beaten Leinster in Dublin and after suffering that setback just before half-time, their hopes of ending that barren run looked slim, but in the 46th minute the visitors got right back into the game. Leinster looked to have the situation under control, but when Dragons turned it over, Matthew Putner broke for the line and had the presence of mind to keep his composure and pop the ball up for the fast arriving Ashley Smith to get over for the try. Great awareness from Putner and a good finish by Smith to bring Dragons back into the game. Tovey missed the conversion, but it was back to 10-8. And to the home crowd's dismay, Dragons went in front two minutes later. Substitute scrum half Isaac Boss was caught napping and in the ensuing scramble, the men from Newport took possession and swooped for try number two. With Richie Rees, the lovely dummy, and then showing the Leinster defence a clean pair of heels before diving over for the try. The referee asked the TMO to check if there had been a knock-on in an earlier phase, but the replays confirmed that the ball had come back legitimately while Boss wasn't concentrating, and Dragons made him and Leinster pay dearly for the slip-up. Once again, Tovey failed with the conversion attempt, but Dragons were now 13-10 ahead. And that lead would be stretched to 16-10 in the 53rd minute, when Tovey kicked a penalty from 30 metres out. <coughs> Leinster could go top of the table with a win, and they'd been stung by that double whammy. And on the hour mark, the home side reasserted their dominance. Sub, Jevon Groves, was yellow carded for collapsing a mall. And with Dragons down to 14, Leinster continued to pile on the pressure from the set piece, with the referee eventually losing patience with the visitors, and a penalty try was awarded. Madigan tapped the conversion over for 17-16. Within minutes, there was almost a carbon copy of the first penalty try, with the scrum close to the Dragons line, and again the dominance of the home side's pack was causing the Welsh men all sorts of problems. As the Blues forced their way towards the line, the visitors went to ground once more, and again the referee ran under the post to award a second penalty try. And again, Madigan tagged on the two points to give Leinster a 24-16 advantage. Matt O'Connor no doubt pleased. Ten minutes from time, Tovey made it 24-19 with a penalty. Then into the final minute, Dragons were holding on for a bonus point defeat. But sub prop Manuel Tetas Chaparro picked Isaac Boss up and drove him into the ground. The referee immediately called on the TMO to confirm that the challenge was dangerous. The replays were pretty damning, the picture's not good for the Argentinian. When the dust settled, the referee produced a red card. Probably not the sort of card Chaparro was hoping to receive this Valentine's Day. 
with the Argentinian off. Leinster still had one play left to score the bonus point fourth try. And with Dragons like a punch-drunk boxer on the ropes, the home side swooped. Piling in towards the line and being held up by last-ditch Dragons defending. But eventually Madigan came up with a big pass to Darren Hudson, who was in acres of space to sprint over the line for the all-important fourth try. Hudson second in as many games. This secured the bonus point for Leinster and denied Dragons a losing one. Madigan converted superbly to give Leinster a 31-19 victory. So O'Connor's men go to the top of the table at least temporarily. They travel to play Cardiff next Thursday. Dragons might feel a little unlucky not to get some reward from the game. Their next assignment is at home to Glasgow on Sunday. It wasn't a Valentine's Day massacre, but the home side grounded out in the end. Final score of the RDS, Leinster 31, Dragons 19.